back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rosie Henshaw, and if you're new to my channel, hi all! <laughs> Today I'm bringing you a charity shop slash junk shop haul. So like thrift store shopping. Um, I'm having a cup of tea in my M&S cup that I got on my M&S haul. This was in the sale. I think it was 220. I can't really remember. Mine's a nice tea, so get yourself a tea, grab some snacks, and let's get into the video. Um, Basically, the reason I've started going thrift shopping again, I haven't in ages. I don't know why I haven't. I still go boot sales and things like that, but I haven't been thrift store shopping, like charity shops, in ages. I find it's quite hard to park where I live, in town and stuff, so I sort of avoid it unless I really need to go there. And then when I really need to go there, nine times out of ten, it's raining. Hopefully now the summer. Maybe it's because it was raining all the time. Um, and then I didn't want to be sort of walking because it's not covered or nothing, so you don't get soaked walking in, in, into all the charity shops. Um, but the reason I went there, and it's got me started again, is a lady on Instagram had this most amazing picture of her dresser. And she had these lovely, like, bowl stands. Like, it looks like a cake stand on a stand, but it's kind of like a bowl, like a serving bowl. And I sort of thought that would look amazing on my dresser. Where did you get it? So I asked her where she got it from, and she said from a charity shop. Um, and I was so happy for her that she managed to get a great bargain, but I was a little bit disappointed because I knew I wasn't going to be able to go and just go and get it. Um, so I thought, do you know what? I'm going to go and have a look in all the charity shops. Wasn't optimistic about it at all, um, but then I found this, and honestly, I cannot believe that I found this. It's exactly what I'm looking for, but it's actually like, on a lot of Mason websites and stuff, they have like, you know the bowls with the little balls and stuff on them? They look really beautiful, and they're quite expensive, they're like 30 to 40 pound. I got this. Look how beautiful this is. How nice is that just going to look on the dresser? It's amazing. I got this from Age UK Charity Shop, or Age Concern? I'm not sure, it's the age one. <laughs> um, and this cost me three pounds. And honestly, like, oh my God, I've just realized what brand it is. It's Betty Jackson, black, for Debenhams. Oh, well this definitely cost about 35, 40 pound. This is beautiful, and this literally cost me three pounds, and I just think that's gonna just look so nice with all my other like white porcelain. It might put it in the kitchen with some of the other white stuff. Um, three pounds, so I was literally so overjoyed to get that. Sorry, like, when you wear a skirt and you get stuck to your bench. <laughs> Chabra! <laughs> oh, God. Thank you so much for the suggestions to get rid of my chub rub, by the way. Like, honestly, I'm going to have a big cupboard full of, like, lanocaine, deodorant, talcum powder, talc liquid. <laughs> I was just going to be like, what's that for? Nothing, darling, just my sweaty sticky thighs. <laughs> oh, goodness me. Carry on. Um, oh God, I've got the giggles today. Seriously, I just can't stop giggling at things. While I was in the age shop as well, I think it was age, can, age UK, um, basically I got this. It's like a little porcelain egg. I'm pretty sure this is like one of those little like, little sugar bowls or something that you leave out. It's very similar to my, oh, I've got a Laura Ashley salt pig up there, but I don't know why you'd have a spoon for salt. So I'm thinking it's like a, a sugar bowl. I just thought that is literally so sweet. I'm a bit addicted to white porcelain and literally that cost me a pound. It cost me one pound, so I was like, I love that. I'm gonna get it. I moved on then to another store, um, which was, um, it was called Coastal Pet Awareness, or something like that, and basically it all goes to the pets. It's like a pet sanctuary money. And I see this in there. now. I'm a bit of a collector of pottery, so I was quite surprised that I had a moment and didn't really realise what pattern this was. I see this little cake tin in there, and I thought, that's just beautiful. I love the little pattern of that. I said to the lady, how much is this? This one doesn't have a sticker. And she's like, oh, I've just put it out, dear. I'm just making a sticker for it. It's 50p. So I said, oh, I'll have that. And it's got, like, little bumblebees on it and little roses. And I kept thinking, I really know that pattern. Do I have something like that indoors? And then when I got to the two, I realised why I recognised the pattern. It's Emma Bridgewater. 50p I paid for Emma Bridgewater tin. Don't get me wrong, it's a little bit grubby and it's a bit bumped out of shape sort of here. But I would just sort of like tap that in and the lid goes back on and stuff. Um, but it's lovely. And it's all like cream enamel on the inside. It is quite, it's clean on the inside. It's a bit grubby on the outside. It's got like, um, you know when you get sticker marks that sort of like haven't come off and stuff on it. Um, 
So yeah, I need to give this a really good soapy wash, which I would anyway, and I probably won't store cakes in it. It will probably be like, you know, like chocolate bars that are wrapped and stuff like that. So Emma Bridgewater, 50p for a tin. I just think you need to get down to the charity shops because if I bought all this stuff brand new, I'd be well into like the 200s now because Betty Jack, well no, that's actually a bit of an exaggeration, Rosie, like 200, how did you work that one out? Um, <laughs> the Emma Bridgewater tin's about 15 pound. Yeah, about 15 pounds for that size, large size. That would have been 40, it's about 65. I don't know what brand this is. Just say for, just say for thingy sake, eight pounds in the shop or something like that. So it's gonna cost quite a lot of money. Um, while I was also in the pet um, charity shop, I got some like clothing items like, and accessory items. Um, and I normally do my try on on a Friday and I could wait, but because it is the charity shop, and I don't think that I'm going to be able to get that many things together that are in my size. Because obviously it's very hit and miss in a charity shop. Sometimes you get something brilliant, sometimes you don't. Um, and then sometimes they won't have it in your size even if it is brilliant. So I got something, I'm pretty sure it's brand new. I haven't heard of the brand. It looks beautiful. It does look quite expensive. I've never heard of the brand. It's called Danny Mac. I'm not too sure. I'm going to research it up. I'm going to push my like, bench back so I can have room to get in. Um, I'm a bit scruffy when I've been sitting down. Basically, I've got this Mac. Now, the reason I've got this is khaki Mac. It has never been worn. Like, literally, you can tell. It literally has never been worn. And it's like, check inside. It just feels beautiful on the lining. It's got the little lovely, like, little Sherlock Holmes flaps. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's just so, so nice. And it's belted up. And I got this for £5. Now, it doesn't have a size in it. It doesn't actually say what size it is. Um, so I basically tried it on. It does fit me, um, but it's more of like something that you would keep undone because it wouldn't, it doesn't actually do up on my bust. Um, but I just think how beautiful is this little Mac. I normally always like roll my sleeves on a Mac and sort of like make it a bit more casual. Um, but I just think in like, you know, just after August when September comes, because obviously that's not too far long, it's not far too long away. Something like this is so lightweight, it's just perfect. You can wear this with like little loafers, t-shirt and jeans, or you could wear like a little like lacy bodysuit, pair of black skinny jeans, little kitten heels. It would just look beautiful. I don't tend to, oh look, my shirt's come untucked. I don't tend to wear coats like that if they're like this, especially when it is that sort of like springy sort of weather. If I'm wearing a coat like this, I don't really need a coat. And if I'm wearing a coat done up, it's got to be done up and it's because it's freezing. So I actually quite like wearing this kind of coat over the shoulder. I just think it looks so nice, keeps you a little bit warm, keeps the wind off you. It's there if it does start to pour down, because obviously in the autumn you never know. And I just think it looks quite, I'm going to say it again, swish. <laughs> it looks a bit swish. And the reason I thought it looked quite swish is because I thought, obviously not with this outfit, if this skirt was maybe black, I'm like in a straight jacket now. <laughs> No, I really like this, but I've got something that I think goes with it lovely. Now, this was from Debenhams. I didn't know that was from Debenhams originally. It must be like a Debenhams thing. This cost me £1.50. I'm not going to show you what it is yet. £1.50. Look at this little bag. This is from Debenhams. It's got like the little tag inside. It, I think it was meant to come with a chain, but it doesn't. But I'm not too fussed because I wouldn't hold it like that anyway. It's got two big compartments, then a zip one in the middle. Let's check what it works. Yes, it does. Basically, like if you want to put your phone or your keys or like loose change in the middle, and you're, you know what I mean? That is just lovely. I just sort of thought, how cute is this? Five pound, I've got like six pound fifty for these two items, and I think they just make the outfit look a little bit posh. Maybe not this coral kind of colour with the khaki. Like if my skirt was maybe black or something, this would just look so nice. I feel like I want to go and work in the city now. You know, you know. You know <laughs> I don't know why I walk like that, I could have just walked normal, but I feel like I'm gliding where you can't see my feet. Um, I'm going to stand up on my little bench. It's not the store today. I'm going to stand up on my little bench, just so you can kind of see the length of it. I can't really do this gracefully. So, it's kind of like this length. By the way, the fake tan has completely gone now, so you can see my little turkey legs. Um, but I'm trying to get them out as much as possible to catch a little golden tan on them. But how cute this is. There is no marks on this whatsoever. Like, there's no, like, oh, I've got little balls on the bottom so it doesn't scratch your foot down. That is just, like, so posh. 
To be honest, a lot of the shops now are bringing these hard case kind of like retro -y kind of vintage bags back in, like Zara, ASOS, Topshop. This cost me £1.50. There isn't a person on the planet who walked past me and think this was £1.50 or this was £5. And you, I love Primark and I think their quality is fantastic, especially for the price. But you know when you just walk past something and you know something looks expensive, you might not be getting it on the camera. This fabric, it's so much thicker than I have got a couple of these. I've got like a beige one and a red one from Primark last winter, a, a trench coat. And they are beautiful and such good value for money. But you can just tell this is more money. Especially when you have it over your shoulder and you can see the check coming through. It just looks so swish. <laughs> It really does. I'm going to put this over there, but like literally £6.50. You definitely need to go to the charity shop, like, guys, because it's just so amazing. I actually got last month in the charity shop, this was from the British Heart Foundation, I managed to get a pair of brand new, still had the stickers on, Kurt Geiger tan leather loafers. They were, like, so, so soft. They had the little, like, cross penny, like, cross thing in gold on the front of them. Amazing, I paid £2.20 for them. Looked online later that night, the cheapest shop I could buy them for was £120. I was like, I know I've had a great deal. And they were in my shoe size as well, so I was like, that is so lucky. I mean, I don't necessarily get a half size, but they had it in a half size, but that hasn't made them too big. They was actually really perfect because they go in quite like a narrow, they're like a rounded square loafer. Um, so as they go in, I've got quite wide feet at the front. I've got like wide little spread watsies. Um, so they actually half size made it like the perfect room for my toes. They fit beautifully and they're like the softest leather I've put on them and they didn't rub my feet. Like £2.20 from a charity shop. Like you do need to go to these shops and these places because you can just get some fantastic bits. It isn't all just second hand. Some of it's second hand and it's amazing like the Emma Bridgewater bits, them bits. But I know that that coat has definitely not been worn and I'm never going to get a trench coat for £5 even in Primark in a sale. Do you know what I mean? So I know that looks good. I'm done with my charity shop part now. Now, I do get, I'm getting some really lovely comments on my Instagram, on my YouTube comments about the background, like the decor of my home. Now, that's so kind and I, I'm so grateful. I just wanna let you know, I don't actually spend a lot on my stuff. Like, some of my Emma Bridgewater stuff, I'll save up or I'll ask for Christmas or birthdays, I'll ask to get that because I'm a bit of a bargain hunter. And I like getting things for cheaper. And there's a, a junk shop at the end of my road. Basically, he does house clearances and he gets gifted items and he'll buy things cheap to sell on a bit dearer. Um, but I walked in to his junk shop yesterday and when I see this, I wanted to literally like jump up and down. I was so excited. It's actually in my basket on a website called Graham and Green for £75. Um, and I, I don't know, like... I was going to pay 75 for it, I was going to save up and get it because I wanted it so bad for my bedroom, it was just going to look really nice on my dressing table because um, I've got a large thing that size, like a vase with like eucalyptus in it and I just needed something else high on the opposite end and I see this and I thought £75, so I've been umming and ahhing, it's been staying in the basket for months now and when I see it, I thought, oh good, I know he's definitely going to be selling it for cheaper than £75, so I'm going to show you, hopefully you'll like it as much as I do. Look at my little ginger jar. Oh, I'm literally in love with this. It's literally like beautiful. Like, I mean, you could just use it as like a kind of vase like that. It's got all the little bubble details on it. But I'm not going to. I'm literally. And the reason he said it was cheaper and someone got rid of it is because it's got a tiny little little nick one of the balls will come off so I'm just going to get a little bit of air dry clay roll a little tiny ball and stick it there and then just touch it up with a little bit of grey paint I have grey paint because I paint everything grey in my bedroom so I'm going to do that and you probably won't notice even if you just had it sort of turned around that way no one's going to see it anyway that bit's towards the wall and I paid £10 for this £10 now that is kind of dear for a junk shop I'm not going to lie £10 on something but when you know how much this, this has cost, and he actually said this is from a place called Coach House. So I don't know, I'll have a little look on the website, but I know they are selling them on expensive sort of Maison websites in a region of like 75 to like in the hundreds. And 
I got that for 10, so I'm literally over the moon. And that's gonna look amazing in my bedroom. It's just always so worth going to these places because you just don't know what people have given. You don't know what people don't want anymore or like what someone else has managed to pick up as a bargain and then selling in their shops. While I was in there as well, he has so many baskets and crates and boxes and chairs. I'm just like addicted, I wanna see everything. And um, I buy a lot of my furniture from him actually, like on my dining chairs and I just sand them and paint them. A lot of my furniture I have bought from him or like charity shops. And the one thing I always buy from him is baskets. I am a sucker for a wicker basket, like I love a wicker basket. I'm noticing a lot of youth people like sharing my love for a basket as well, like when I go on the Instagrams and stuff, I can see them in the decor. Now, I paid £10 for this as well. A little bit expensive for a basket because I don't know, maybe I've just had such good deals with baskets. When you see how big it is, it's like a massive one. I'm pretty sure this had meant to have like, can you see the bigness of it? The bigness of it. <laughs> I don't think that's the thing that exists. The bigness of it. £10 for a basket from a junk shop is quite expensive, but when you take into consideration places like Home Bargains, you can get a basket like this big for like seven to 10 pound. That cost me a tenner. Now there's no dust between the wicker. It's absolutely immaculate inside. And this is just gonna look beautiful in the playroom. I mean, even if you had a pet, you could probably fill this with like a little cushion at the bottom, like a normal bed pillow, because that's about the width of it, to be honest, inside. Put like a really pretty pattern blanket or something on top. That could be a dog bed. Like that could be so cute. Or like, if your children like books, you can stock it with books. I'm gonna have this, my son collects loads of little tiny cars and like little motorbikes and stuff. He loves playing with like all the trains. So I'm just gonna have this in the playroom to fit, be filled with all that kind of stuff. Cause I'm fed up of organizing it. So I've just got one big basket to just chuck it all in. And this cost me 10 pound. Now if I went to somewhere like Home Sense or somewhere to get a basket of this size, I know just through baskets that I bought before, I'm at least minimum looking for about 30 pound. I paid 15 pound on a picnic basket for my kitchen. So I just know that this would definitely have cost me a lot more. I just think it's so well worth going to all these places. I love boot sales as well. It's a shame really, because there's no boot sales, well there are on at the moment, but they're on a Sunday and I tend to like, we tend to do things with the children. I haven't really had time to go down to the boot sales. But we do have a residence association boot sale. So last month, all of my neighbors, they all had boot sales outside their house, like literally all around the area. It's quite a cute little like villagey type area, even though it's not a villagey country place, they do really cute little things like that. And we've done a boot sale and a neighbor a couple of houses down had an old British home store, still with the tags on it, like a bedspread, beautiful like bright patchwork colors, a little, little bit look like Kath Kit said, I got it for two pounds. She stuck it in like a vacuum bag, bought it in the sale, stuck it in the vacuum bag, stuck it under the bed. So it's immaculate, it's like beautiful. So I've got that and I use that as my picnic blanket now. And it's just, you can really get amazing deals by going thrift shopping. Like I can't wait to like do my little like outfit, like walk in the city. <laughs> that was me trying to be in high heels by the way. Um, I'm going to cup of tea because, as you know, I get a bit out of breath on all my videos. Oh, it's gone a bit cold now. Um, I've got to say thank you. Honestly, any new subscribers, or if you are subscribing, amazing, thank you so much. If you like these videos and you want to subscribe, please, that's, that's amazing. Um, obviously, only if you want to. <laughs> please keep up with the comments and the liking the videos if you enjoy it because it is meaning so much. I want to say thank you for all the ones that I have though because even though I'm saying thank you back individually, sometimes it just don't feel enough. You've took time out of your day to basically message me to say that you enjoyed it and I just think that's fantastic. That's so kind of you all and I just wanted to say thank you. And I'm noticing a lot of you are now following me on my Instagram as well which is Rosie Henshaw Home and you're also writing beautiful things on there. So it's just like, honestly I've said it before but I am definitely getting like a little massive head. Um, no, still, still very, <laughs> still, still know, still know what I am, um, which is a crazy chick. <laughs> but no, it, honestly, it's just so, so, so nice. I get a bit embarrassed. I'm not gonna lie. You can see my cheeks going a bit red. Even though I do these videos, you have got to take into consideration that I am technically actually on my own right now, and. It's so amazing. I don't like talking about myself in a weird way, even though I'm doing these videos. So saying thank you, but I really want to say thank you, but I do find it quite weird getting compliments and I can't quite get used to it. 
and uh, you are just saying like the most amazing things. And some days I do have really crappy days, and your messages are just like, do you know what? Everyone feels crap at times, and you're you're saying such nice things about me. It's it's kind of hard to feel crap when there's so many people that are just saying such lovely things. Um, I don't know what I'm doing with my hands. I get I get a bit awkward when I'm talking about myself. Um. So I just want to say thank you and I hope you have a fantastic week. I was going to say fantastic, tastic, tastic. <laughs> I hope you have a fantastic week and uh, yeah, you get down to all the charity shops and get all the good stuff because it's there to be had. And uh, yeah, have a lovely week. I'm Rosie Henshaw. Bye.